what God cannot do, we dare pray. We dare pray. <laughs> Pastor Jerry, you said, you will say, I flew in to share my testimony. And indeed, I flew in to share my testimony. Streams of joy, my name is Inonga Imbula, all the way from Lusaka, Zambia. I bring you greetings. I am here to glorify the God that sees me. Indeed, God actually sees me. I've got multiple testimonies, so I'll try to be quick about it. So the first testimony is concerning my son, Kasongo. Before the age of one, he was able to pronounce like other people's names in the house. But all of a sudden, he just started going like, mm. you talk to him, mm. you say this, mm. he never ever altered another word. So while on NSPPD, Pastor Jerry released a word to say, there's a child, he was speaking before, but he stopped. And this is three before turning four. I don't know who you are. Your child was talking before. Suddenly your child stopped talking. Stop talking. For no reason. If you are the one putting on the live stream about the power that rest Jesus from the dead. I announce. Let it be reversed right now. I keyed into that word. So one day as I was driving with my son, I was playing Pastor Jerry's song then which was miracles, no detire Jesus. So it's the first time I was playing it with my son in the car. And I just heard, no detire Jesus. So to bless a person, no detire Jesus. So I looked and I was like, what? I said, because I was him, I was like, when I go home, these people will not believe me. So I left it. I left it. I went home. All of a sudden, he began to talk the following sunday while going to church i was with my household and i played the song and he was there Chey! no the entire jesus so what god cannot do does not exist my son is speaking even yesterday i was talking to him to the glory of the father the god that sees me the god of pastor jerry is he is talking I am a speaker, trainer, and coach with the John Maxwell team in the USA. So I discovered my gift in 2019. But then I was prepping myself and holding myself. And then I traveled for NSPPD Houston last year. I was there. And just after that, I met a lady uh, from New York, but she's Jamaican. I told her, as I go back, I'm going to make it big. And then in December, a word came on the altar of fire where Pastor Jerry actually said that God is done preparing you. I keyed into that word. I said, that is my word. And then afterwards, uh, another word came on the altar of fire and Pastor Jerry said that even if you are new, congratulations is heading your way. You will be congratulated. I keyed into that word. And I began to host the Global Empowerment Summit. That was the first summit I was hosting. Lo and behold, it was beautiful. It was aired on television. Other people have been having summits and all that, but it's never aired on television. My own, it was aired on television. And from, the, from then, <clears throat> global visibility. Pastor Jerry would always say, global visibility, global visibility. As your two hands are lifted up, 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 up at the sound of your amen, take your mantle of global visibility. Lo and behold, I traveled to um, America early last month. I, had, I was speaking at two conferences. And then from there, I was in Rwanda. I was speaking at another conference. While I was in Rwanda, immediately I was done. Um, the CEO of Skyways Enterprise actually reached out to me and said, I want you to come and speak and meet the CEOs. And I said, on one condition, that you give me a driver to take me to Streams on, of Joy on Sunday. And he said, done. I was like, okay, what God cannot do does not exist. So I actually flew in to speak at that summit, which was yesterday. And today I am here to thank the God that sees me. The God that sees me. Just before I, I head out, Pastor Jerry Eze, I would love to officially invite you to Lusaka, Zambia. You know, last Sunday, as I was going to church, 
we were driving and we were listening to the second service. As we were passing the gate, the security man that shows you where to park, he was blasting streams of joy. And I said, is that Pastor Jerry Eze? He said, yes. And before I left for here on Thursday, I went to the bureau. And when I entered the bureau, they were on NSPPD. They were blasting it. They were blasting it, Pastor Jerry. I actually had to get them to make a video where we say, what God cannot do does not exist. And they were blasting it. So, Pastor Jerry, I would love to officially invite you to Lusaka, Zambia. And I'm here to return all the glory to God for his goodness and his mercy. What God cannot do does not exist.